and good uh, morning this is Ab Abraham with one more action script tutorial and today we are continuing the class on how to create a calculator we still on design soon our calculator is completed we move on to the code itself uh, we want to create a button with a mouse over effect green background or mouse over and a red fit state once we attain a button we like, we are not going to redo the same operation over and over. We are going to take the symbol out of the library, click on the symbol, and ask for duplicate. So we have identical instances or identical objects. We'll be click buttons on our library to um, be reused. For currently, SayWeb has over 5,000 visitors every month. 5,000, yes. They come, they copy the code, they, they visit, they watch tutorials. And for those who watch tutorials, they know lesson three. We spoke about adding elements to stage. We created a class, and using the child method, you're able through ActionScript put several instances of the same object on stage so my dear listener could just ask why don't you do the same thing here why are you going over and over to the library duplicating symbols just create a class and uh, using the add child method you showed us on lesson 3 populate the stage and the answer is that each one of these buttons they have unique labels number one number two number three all the way up to zero and if we would be um, just creating instances of the same movie clip on stage they'll come with the same label it is possible there are ways around that would be so complicated and just for 10 digits duplicating library items is the easiest way I found to do it and by the way uh, duplicating instances on ActionScript, it could be also tiresome because every time we create, we have to test the movie. Over here, it's all drag and drop. Simple to do, simple to see the results. And uh, there we go. We have, I guess, all the buttons. It's time to move the library out of the center of our workspace and release the stage because we want to have more space now that will be dragging and dropping each one of these buttons we duplicated out of the master and to our stage so we want to have a clear stage with a lot of what space available the second question comes up is about location the secret of real estate okay location location and location we are dragging and dropping. Now, we want to create a neat calculator. And we want to have these buttons on stage neat, aligned. So for those who follow our tutorials, you did speak about uh, setting location through ActionScript. So if you give a correct coordinate to each one of these instances, uh, each one of these buttons they will be in place why are you dragging and dropping that leaves the door open for human mistake and the answer is that that's true it would be far more accurate if we would be aligning these buttons through X and Y properties yes X and Y properties every single movie clip, movie clip or button they have X and Y properties to place them on a certain location in stage but nevertheless uh, I could be as accurate as on stage by dragging and dropping you see there is a line that shows a grid when the alignment is correct see the line over there see the line over here again and that's as accurate as setting the location through X and Y properties and the big advantage now of dragging and dropping and waiting for the grid is 
that through action script not only that will have would have the trouble of looking for the correct x and y for each one of the items each time to see if to test if the position is correct we have to test the movie play the movie easiest way to do is through dragging and dropping yes x and y there, there are users for x and y if you want to move an item on stage x and y are great but over here you're just dragging dropping and uh, waiting for the grid as you can see now the result is pretty good we have a square three by three and looks to me that our buttons are on place uh, my function here is to teach my function here is to demonstrate and I have the obligation to tell it's possible to do through action script X and Y coordinates uh, but the easiest way to do is just wait for the grid and line another way to do and we'll be doing that is selecting multiple buttons right clicking and asking for a line it's possible also through the menu to select several items and then ask for a line goes like this for those who saw the first lesson each one of these buttons they have three states normal over and down each one of these states they have a label one two three so we want to make sure that they have the same label for each one of these states otherwise it could happen that our user rests the mouse over the button and instead of a four they see a number one instead of a five or when they hit they see a number one we have to make sure that the label is the same for each one of the buttons we have the cleverness of putting the label on a different layer so it does not affect the effect we created uh, and we have to make sure that each one of them uh, three states they have the correct label on it uh, we've been placing uh, submitting all these tutorials they, they, I end up doing these uh, gadgets I've been submitting them to Widgetbox Widgetbox have been reviewing these uh, results and been posting people have been using these applications action scripts we create on C-Web on Facebook on social network websites it's always good to know it's always good to create we're not poets over here cash is good and why not create some applications for cash the alternatives are out there uh, uh, you can go out and you can search there are plenty of places where you can post your calculator a good homework mortgage refinance is currently one of the top paying keywords on adsense yes it could fetch up to fifty dollars to the lucky website owner who has a mortgage refinance on their website so a mortgage calculator well placed well developed could pay some money on your pockets think about the homework we'll soon be finishing our calculator uh, here we have the zero yes it's outside of the square and let's make sure that we have zero on every single state so we don't have any surprises along the way as soon as the design is over we'll be doing the code and that's it for today my email shows on the screen right now if you have questions suggestions or remarks welcome to come welcome to write i'll try my best to thank you thank you very much